What's up, yo? Big Cat 305 here. Today, we are making a loaded omelet on the Blackstone. That's right, loaded omelet. We're gonna have some bacon, some sausage, some tomatoes, some onions, three different kinds of cheese, and we're gonna load this sucker up with some flavor and spices, and it's gonna be absolutely phenomenal. So if you're new to the channel, I wanna thank you for stopping by. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and ring that notification bell. And if you're a current subscriber, we wanna thank you for all your support. We do appreciate it. Keep hitting that thumbs up and commenting down below. We really try to answer every single comment and interact with you guys. So if you wanna interact, just comment down below. Everybody, let's get cooking. So we start off with an onion. And we're gonna have a nice mixture of veggies and meats and cheeses. So we take a half an onion here, slice and dice, chop it up nice. Real simple. Nice and fresh onion. We've got some beautiful tomatoes. Uh, we are gonna, same thing, slice and dice. You want the ingredients chopped up pretty small, uh, actually diced pretty small because it's going into your omelet and omelets are hard enough to fold as is. But if you have big old chunky items inside, it's going to make it even harder. So you want to try to make these pretty, pretty diced, just like that. And we've got our peppercorn bacon, my new favorite. And we're just going to, same thing, chop these up into little small chunks. Uh, these kind of shrivel up a little bit when you cook them, so you don't have to go too small with these. But man, these are so good. If you have not tried the peppercorn bacon, you have got to try it. It's outstanding. And then finally, our Jimmy Dean's. Uh, I went too fast. Our Jimmy Dean <laughs> sausage. And then next, our eggs. Uh, we're going to... Uh, one, two... I think we're doing four eggs here. One, two, three. There's number three. And number four. Yes, we're doing four eggs. There you go. A little bit of milk. Makes it nice and fluffy. Spin these up. Whisk, whisk, whisk. Fork, fork, fork and looking beautiful so you want to stir these really good uh, mix it nice and fluffy just like that you don't want lumpy stuff especially when you're making an omelet you want it nice uh, ni a nice texture so we start off with the bacon boom look at that sizzle listen to that sizzle sounds great they're all chunked together so you gotta have to kind of work them apart which is the fun part of the Blackstone, in my opinion. I mean, the prep work is the prep work. I mean, that's kind of like, it's almost like sports. It's almost like practicing. Nobody likes practice. You like the game. So the prep work is like the practice. This is the game right here, when you put it actually on the griddle. So this is the fun part. Sizzle, sizzle, spin it around, move it around, spread it around and do your thing. So at this point, I'm very surprised Spike has not barked yet, which is great. <laughs> Usually when I start cooking bacon, he starts barking. But he did, so was great. Same thing, spin it around get it nice and uh, spread out so they cook nice and evenly and you don't have like raw pieces and that's it next up is our Jimmy Beans breakfast sausage this is about a half of a tube full uh, I broke out the, the old my old chopper to chop this up. Uh, I have found in my experience so far with Blackstone that 
it is better to chop up anything ground, whether it's ground meat, steaks, sausage, whatever, while it is still raw. If you let it cook a little bit and then try to chop it, wow, what a difference. This is much easier. That's why you see I'm working it kind of quick here to try to get this chopped up. Uh, because if you get it chopped up early, it makes life much easier later on down the road. So these choppers are great. Any kind of chopper is good. I know Blackstone makes them now. I've caught some flack from some uh, some people saying, that's a paint scraper, you can't use that, it's not food grade. I get it. Um, I just haven't got a Blackstone one yet. <laughs> so this works for me at this point. That's it, we start spinning the bacon, check that out, and it's looking good. We give the old uh, sausage a little flip. Even after chopping, you can see they're still sticking together, but now when you go to break it up again, it's already been broken up once, so it's no big deal. That's how much this meat sticks together after you start cooking. All right, this bacon is pretty much done. You can see that nice, beautiful color and that sizzle. Here's a little close-up for you. Oh, yeah. Oh, the smell is ridiculous at this point. All right, so we're going to put this off to the side, which is not as hot as the middle, so just kind of keeps it nice and warm. We're going to move some of that extra bacon grease over, get out of the way, and just kind of push it up there in the corner. And use that space. I have really, um, I guess, as, many, as long as I've been cooking on this, it took me a while <laughs> to, to, to use the entire space and to try to maximize the space of this griddle. It's only a 22 inch, uh, so it doesn't have the capacity of a 36 inch, but you would be surprised how much food you can get on this thing at one time. And before, I used to try to cook in sections. You know, before I would have cooked that bacon, taken it off. I would have cooked this sausage, taken it off. I would have cooked tomatoes, taken it off. I would have cooked the onions, taken it off. But now I'm just cooking it all in the same spot or the same grill at the same time. There you go. Look at that sausage. It looks beautiful. Let's move it over. Again, going to keep it on the griddle and not taking it off. And we put our onions down. Another favorite of mine, onions taste freaking amazing when they get caramelized. One of my favorites. Trying to get some of that bacon grease in there. We'll add a little bit more oil onto the onions so they get nice and toasted up. And these cook pretty quick. Um, I would say probably, I don't know, eh, four or five minutes to get them to this point. I got them chopped up pretty, or diced up pretty good, so they, they usually cook a little quicker like that. That's it. We stick them over here, next to all the other stuff. And we are going to put down our tomatoes, or tomatoes. So tomato, tomato. I say tomato, you say tomato. There we are. Tomatoes down. Another veggie and an omelet. That's why I love omelets, man. Let me tell you, the omelets are like, first of all, breakfast is like the king of Blackstone. Breakfast and Blackstone will go hand in hand. 
in my opinion. Everybody loves making breakfast. It's the easiest thing to make. It's the most fun to make. The uh, possibilities are endless. You can do so many things. It just reminds me of uh, a diner <laughs> where you go and they're slapping food around on the griddle. That's, uh, that's really cool about this thing. So, number one, breakfast is king. Number two, the omelet. Come on, you're sticking a bunch of food inside of an egg <laughs> and wrapping it up. I mean, that's like, it doesn't get any better than that. So, in this particular one, we got a nice balance of meat, veggies, and cheese. So, tomatoes, you want to get the liquid out. You don't want, because if you don't, it's going to be, it's going to make your omelet soggy. So I moved it towards the center, as you can see there, and the center is much warmer, and that kind of like pulled that liquid out, and now they're ready to go. And then I'm going to move the onions over to the other side, right below the tomatoes. And these are, I'm basically making like a football field. <laughs> you got your... Uh, your stands on each side, those are your fans on each side. And in the middle there, that's where the gridiron is. Hey, look at that gridiron, you like that? And we are going to, uh, that's where the, <laughs> we're gonna stick the eggs. But we're gonna clean up the center part a little bit here first. Uh, so the eggs are stay nice and clean and, and uh, good looking and they don't look all brown and nasty. But once you get your cast iron, or your cast iron, once you get your black stone, which is basically a cast iron, nice and seasoned like this one, it basically becomes like a non-stick. It looks, it looks great. It's really easy to make uh, anything on. It doesn't stick. Tomatoes usually sticks to everything, but not, not this. So here we go. There's a little bit of a overall view of our gridiron. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it we're going to put down some oil and some butter butter for flavor oil so the butter doesn't burn we talked about this spread it out and we are ready four our eggs here we go four eggs scrambled up with some milk for some fluffiness put them on slow they will run all over the place especially this 22 it's got like a little ridge in the center there it goes from left to right I'm sure it's by design so uh, it helps clean and stuff like that but not as easy as the larger ones so you have to go kind of slow and you have to pull them in as they cook you pull them in no big deal it's part of the challenge and you kind of want to make like a, a rectangle that's kind of the goal here so as they pull away you pull them back in and you can see they are not sticking too much they're not sticking at all and they're cooking quick enough where you can pull them back in that's kind of the key so, you let the heat is your ally, and you want to pull them back in, and you want to make sure that uh, you want to get the shape that you want, which is basically a rectangle. And that's it. Once you get them on there, looking good. Add our salt, add some pepper. Cracked pepper there. Now we're going to add our cheeses. Start off with some Kobe Jack. Nice amount there in the middle. Not too crazy. And then we're going to add a couple slices of provolone. Right here is some provolone. Two slices break them up a little bit and finally some 
cheddar. Some chunks of cheddar cheese. Oh yeah. This is going to be great. <laughs> Cannot wait for this. So that cheese is going to melt nicely. And now we're going to add our toppings. So here we go. We got some sausage. The Jimmy Dean's. See, that's why you want to break them up into small chunks right there. Because look at the size of this thing. Now we add our cracked pepper bacon on top of that. Look at this thing. This thing is getting huge. Now we're going to add our onions on top of that. We're trying to center it. Onions next. This thing is becoming a mountain. And then our tomatoes on top of that. So I've always <laughs> tried to like not push the envelope and this time I did for sure. So we've got our ingredients on and we're going to try to fold this. I start at the top, sorry for my arm in the way, start at the bottom. Uh, I realize, okay, I got the wrong spatula here. I need the big boy. Let me go to plan B. Let me break out the big boy which is the pancake spatula right there. There we go. Boom. Uh-oh. Break it apart. Uh-oh. Houston, we have a problem. At this point, I'm freaking out, thinking, okay, I just wasted all this time. <laughs> I'm never going to be able to wrap this thing. But, if you just hold it on there, it will all kind of stick together. So do not give up on this, all right? I tried to go on the edge and that didn't work, so I scratched that plan and I just continued wrapping it like this. Even if it doesn't wrap completely, it doesn't matter. As long as it sticks together mostly, you're good. Here we go. And we flip that sucker. <laughs> that thing is huge. Alright guys, this thing is ready. Let's go check it out out. With a bunch of ingredients and a blackstone, boom! <laughs> this thing is a monster. It is a loaded omelet. Uh, I think I went a little overboard. You know, in the past, I kind of would not put in enough ingredients, and I always felt like, man, I could have just got a little bit more ingredients in there. And I've always thought, man, you should push the envelope a little bit. This time, I think I pushed the envelope because <laughs> it is busting at the seams. So uh, I'm ready to dig in, but first we're going to give you a little bit of a close-up. Oh yeah, this thing is a beast. All right. <laughs> Here we go. Um, I'm gonna put some sriracha, which is one of my favorite hot sauces, uh, but I am not gonna put it on the whole thing because I'm gonna share this with Mrs. Big Cat. So I'll just put it on half. Yeah, that looks good. All right, let's dig in. <laughs> Uh, I put in a bunch of ingredients. No need to go over them again. I just want to give this a taste. Look at that. Mmm. 
Mm, mm, mm. That is a hearty omelet right there. Look at all the meat, the cheese, and the tomatoes. Mm. Onions, it is loaded. Let me get this piece over here. Oh yeah, look at that cheese. Look at that bite right there. Yep. Mm. You know, I may just eat the whole thing. <laughs> Maybe not. Everybody, thank you for stopping by. Uh, thank you for watching, liking, subscribing, and commenting. And we'll keep on cooking. Big Cat, out. <laughs>